I want to introduce you all to Tilly Goat. Oh, what are you so upset about? Tilly Goat came to join our herd just about three days ago. She uh, was not supposed to join the herd. We went there looking at her to look at her siblings. Oh, goodness. When we got there, we saw her. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'll let you go. Tilly Goat. Hey. You can see she's a little skinny. She's 12 weeks old, so she should be a lot bigger than she is. But she was actually rejected by her mother. She was one of two, and the mother rejected her. And the herd had kind of been picking on her, and the farmer where we uh, picked them up, and it was it was a it was a beautiful farm. They were clearly taking very good care of their animals, so this wasn't an issue of animal neglect. But it was an issue where they he he didn't quite have all the extra time to help Tilly out because she wasn't getting any milk and she was getting picked on by the herd. So he kind of just let her do her thing and hope for the best. Um, so when we went to see her, her siblings, he didn't introduce her and my daughter sheepishly said, well, what about that little brown one? And he said, oh, she's not for sale. She's been rejected and she's not healthy. And you know, we're not, we can't guarantee her. She's, she's super small and bony. And so naturally my kids were like, well, that's our goat. And if I was too, I was like, oh, I can't leave her here. <laughs> I have to take her home and take care of her. So she was supposed to be a Nigerian dwarf. Oh, she is a Nigerian dwarf, Alpine mix. Sorry about that view. <laughs> These are her current herd mates. This is Madeline showing us her amazing acrobatic skills. Uh, she is actually the same age. I don't know if you can tell from this angle. Same age as Madeline there. And she's actually a quarter alpine, so she should be bigger than um, Madeline is. Oh, there she goes. But she's not because she's so small. But, oh, hi, Madeline. Oh, you're so curious, aren't you? I know. We have been feeding her. Um, she, so she's on hay and grain, but we've also been giving her a bottle, which she should be too old for a bottle, but we're trying to help her gain weight. So we're giving her a bottle with just some goat milk replacer. Let me see if I can get your pretty face. Hi, can I have it? Oh, yeah, let me get your face out of the way. Oh, you're so pretty. Hi, beautiful Tilly Goat. <laughs> Natalie. Yes, you're pretty too. But we've been, uh, yeah, and that's become the kid's new favorite chores, feeding the baby goat her bottle. She gets very excited and chugs it down, and then she has to take breaks because she's, like, out of breath, and it's the cutest thing. And then when she's done, she just wants a nap. <music> So she's not putting on a whole lot of weight yet, but she is eating like crazy. And she's drinking about 28 ounces of goat milk replacer. And she is super happy and she's been accepted into our tiny little herd of three here. So, so far so good, but hopefully in the next couple weeks we can get her to actually start gaining some weight. So sweet. video we did with Tilly Goat was all the way back in July. Hi, pretty girl. With my uh, niece was feeding her a bottle. And I kind of stopped recording because honestly, it was just very slow progress at first. And we kept her on a bottle. It's the same routine for um, probably at least two months. But she obviously gained weight. Hi. I know the dog is out here. The dog likes to chase them around. She's good, but look at that tail going. She's so happy. <laughs> Come here, you wanna sit on my lap? Let's see if you can fit on my lap like you used to. Anyway, she had slow steady progress over the summer. It was about three months ago, the last time we recorded her and she only weighed 11 pounds and she was small enough to sit in my lap. 
And as you can see, in the last month, she really just took off and hit full maturity. She is fully filled out. Um, she's actually bigger now than her herd sister, Madeline. And Madeline is off in the woods somewhere, climbing a tree, eating leaves, being a happy goat. But Tilly, hi Tilly. She's doing great. Now they always want to show us our, their back ends. Hi, pretty girl. She kind of looks like a little white-tailed deer now. Lucy. Good girl, Lucy. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Oh, yes, you're so pretty. So this is her with her herd brother, and he's a weather. We, we, we decided to weather him. He was just way too bucky. And he broke everything we built to try to keep him contained. But you can see them next to each other. This is her sister. And she's now as tall as, maybe a couple inches taller than her herd sister. But we originally thought when she came here, she was just going to be like a rescue and rehab and pet. And, you know, we didn't really have a whole lot of hope for her. But now that we see her with her siblings, um, not actually born together, but just, her, you know, same herd. We feel pretty confident that next year we will actually be able to have her uh, bred. She should be able to give us some really beautiful kids. But as you can see, she's completely filled out. In one of those original videos, you could see and feel the entirety of her spine, but you can't now. She's filled out really, really nicely, and her hip bones are a little bit noticeable, but in a healthy goat kind of way, not in a, an emaciated, I'm starving kind of way. So, all in all, what do you think, Tilly? What do you think, Tilly? Yeah, give me some treats. You want some cookies? Yeah, life is good, huh? Life is good for Tilly Goat. And we're so happy to have her here, huh? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you confused too, Tilly? What's he doing? He's silly. Oh, are you going to check it out now? are so funny. <laughs> Tilly? Tilly? What are you doing? Tilly? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, silly girl? Oh, kitty cat. Are you going to go chase the kitty cat? <laughs> 